Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to be going over how to create a simple character menu screen. Now, this is pretty much just going to be showing how to click and drag and rotate your character around. So in a lot of MMORPG games, you'll see that on the character selection screen you'll be able to either create a character or select a different character and rotate around the character before you enter in game and so that's what we're going to be learning how to do today it's pretty basic to set up um, you can do this with any object any character anything that you might want to rotate by clicking and dragging in whatever direction so yeah what I did was I just threw one of my skeleton characters into the scene and I am working in my main menu um, scene so you're going to want to create a new scene if you haven't already and then go save scene as and save it as whatever you want but mine is set as main menu and then I have map one which is my level so that's how I have everything set up currently so I guess I could create a, a separate scene for my character selection but I just want to make it kinda of simple for now when I log in I want my characters to just pop up right there and have all the options for character selection so in the future when I'm doing more creative menus and stuff like that, um, I might end up making a separate scene for all that, for loading it up. But for right now, everything's going to be in one menu. So we're going to be able to select our character and jump in the game and have different characters load up like how we already have it set up from previous tutorials, but we're going to be adding... Um, saving variables for each of those characters and such. But yeah, in this tutorial, the first thing we're just going to learn about is how to click and drag to rotate the character around. So since my axis is a little screwed up on my character, it's been doing that lately for a lot of my characters and a lot of my objects for whatever reason, um, I had to go and create a different, um, a different empty game object. So if you just go to game object, create empty, and I just named it character slot. What I can also use this for is for loading different characters into this area or where this node is. So maybe I clicked player one and it's a skeleton, player two it's a different character, it'll I'll create some prefabs and I'll throw them onto here and maybe I'll make a little stats thing to see what their stats are before you actually load into the game itself or start a match or whatever you want to do. But yeah, I just threw it on a simple node so I can rotate it from the axis on the node. So Skeleton 2 will just be a child, so just I dragged and dropped it onto that. Um, and then Rotate Object is going to be our script for actually clicking and dragging and rotating our character. So if we go check this out real quick, we have Speed, Lerp Speed, X, the X which is like, um, yeah, the direction for X that we're going to be using, or just keeping track of where we're moving. Um, and yeah, a couple other variables. Um, I'm still trying to understand the script a little bit more, but yeah, I can go over at least some of it. So if input, so this is if you're clicking down the, uh, left mouse button if you wanted to be right you would change that to one x tag and that's taking that float variable and getting where we're clicking the mouse um, mouse x times speed so mouse x is the uh, x axis where the mouse is so x would be this way y would be this way but yeah so if you were to add um, this same code, create y dag and copy this down, did it for y, you could uh, rotate um, the other direction and such. So yeah, the rest of our code pretty much calculates out all these stats and it will rotate our character around. So we're just keeping track of where the mouse is moving, what direction, and it will rotate our character in that direction. So if we go in here and we press play, you'll see my character. Just ignore all this stuff set up. I was working on a couple different things. 
probably going to hide my character, and then once you enter in the info, it'll load up the first character in your character selection, and then you'll be able to select a bunch of different ones, but this stuff won't be showing, the character won't be showing, it'll just be in the background and stuff, but I haven't really worked on it much. So yeah, so we can click and drag, see if we move it around it won't do anything unless we actually click and drag, it'll rotate our character around depending on where we're moving. Um, so yeah, if you wanted to select a character and just view all its different armor and stuff before you go into the game, you could also have it set up so it plays animations, maybe it plays an idle animation, and when you rotate it, it does, um, like it moves its feet so it can rotate. But yeah, this is pretty basic way how to set that up. Hopefully I can go over or go into more advanced stuff in the future about uh, different elements of this stuff. I heard someone else um, have a suggestion for creating a load screen, so that might be the next tutorial. I don't know yet, but I'm hoping to do that soon.